Hi everyone. Today's lecture is an uh, introduction to object-oriented programming and quality code. Uh, we'll see what um, the course has to offer, what you will be doing in the next couple of months. And uh, I hope that you enjoy what's going to come next. So yeah, lecture content. So first I'll uh, introduce myself again. Um, there is no no change here. I'll be the only lecture that you have um, if you if you don't li like me sorry um, you have no choice or leave it's fine or just don't watch the video it's fine okay um, after that so um, I would like to make some points on the previous um, homeworks from the from the last course um, there are some notes there that uh, many of you did badly and uh, I would like to um, address that as soon as po possible so that I don't see it again in your homeworks um, okay, then we will have the um, lectures overview, um, how many, what are we going to study and so on, evaluation, timeline, workshops, etc. Et um, and then we'll mention the champions from the first course and uh, we'll, we'll show the games that they made and so on. Um, right, so before I start I just want to say that this is probably the most important course, um, the the most important module of um, the whole course. Um, you will learn a lot of things here, and um, you know, basically, if you if you finish with that course and, and you're fine with everything on it, then uh, I'm sure that that you have no problems becoming a game developer in general. All right, so um, a lot of new things about you know C sharp, about quality code, and so on, um, which are very very important in independently of where where you go to work. Um, also, um, if you have um, an interview at some company, they will probably be asking you a question or 90% of the questions that they'll ask you are from, from this course. Okay, so what is, a, what is an abstract class or how would you uh, make the architecture of a game uh, in, in terms of classes, um, inheritance and so on. Also, design patterns, quality code, how would you write that? What do you, do you like about this code? What, what do you not? And uh, if they actually ask you to write some code on an interview, um, they are going to look for those things that we'll be doing in this course. So um, again, this is probably the, the most Im important one and um, I hope that you enjoyed the, the nice touch with games that I have. In general, this is a very abstract course. I mean, um, it's more about knowledge rather than um, learning functions and so on. It's, um, how should I say it? It's more structure based and understanding how you should, the, the architecture of your um, problems and games rather than the code you write, the algorithms you use, those are now left um, um, left behind. So um, yeah, we'll still use those, but they're not the focus of, of, of this course. Okay, so that that's me. Um, I'm sure that you know me already. It's been um, two months now, and uh, still no one has told me to play like tennis or um, you know um, pool or table football or anything like that. So I still expect. Yeah, sure. I'll I will I will definitely give you a game at um, table f football, bowling. I don't play. Sorry. No, I I I play. I like to make the 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 ball. Um, how's that called? Spin, spin, with uh, two fingers. But yeah, all right. You can't. Okay, I can. I can probably teach you, but it doesn't work that easily. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we can have a game. We we can have a game. All right, all right. I got it. But um, all right. So I'm uh, still expecting someone to give me a game for something. Okay, um, ho ho homework notes, and this is where you come in and tell me what's wrong with the following lines of code. So what's wrong with the first line of code? Single letter naming, int a equals 5. What is a? Okay, the only, um, the only, no, I mean, what is it? As a, okay, it, it is 5, but what is that? I mean, what problem are you solving? What, what, uh, okay, so... Um, what variable needs the, the value 5? I'm sure it's not A because a, it's a letter, right? Um, this is acceptable for the problem where you were given the coefficients of a quadratic function, 
that's fine there because you know they are they are given in the text of the problem as a b and c that is fine but i saw this in many many homeworks and uh, it was really bad and i had no idea what what that was doing okay what's wrong with the second line of code sorry no it's not it's different i want to make a different point here Okay, initialization. So when you when you make a variable, you have to initialize it somehow. Um, if you want to give it a default value or something, you should do that. Don't 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 just leave it as int a. On the next line, int b, and then twenty lines below, you say a equals something. This is not how it's done. So once you initialize a variable, you have to give it some some value. It it doesn't matter what that is. It can be the empty string. Um, you can use a constructor you know with a new string or new int and so on but just don't leave it blank okay um, what's wrong with the next line of code okay it's difficult to read why I'm not talking about the the, the names ABC it's something else Okay, a single line should do only one thing. Um, that's sort of okay. If I write a lambda function, which is, you know, a one line, it will do a lot of things. But yeah, so the point here is do not initialize variables this way on the same line. Each variable should be initialized given a value on a separate line. This becomes really hard to read, especially if you list like five or six variables as um, one, one person in the homework did. This is really, really hard to read. Furthermore, um, it's a bit more here. So the first one can, can be given a value, the second one can be given a value, and then maybe some lines of code, maybe 10 or 10 or 20, and then comes the third one with some random value, and you have no idea what's going on. So two, two things to say here. So don't initialize on, on the same line, and only initialize a variable right before you were, you were gonna use it. So um, if you have to have a, um, if you have to calculate the sum for something, don't start with the sum. Don't write it on the first or on the second line. Initialize it right before the loop in which you are going to use it. Okay. Otherwise, on top you'll be having like hundred variables and so on, and you would you you will know which is what and what's going on. Um, we didn't always keep this. I mean, when we were writing the game, we had our initialization lo logic and everything was at the top but for you know simple problems it's a lot easier to read um, yeah okay so the the following one I hope it's clear enough I saw it in so many homeworks it's unbelievable so program.cs and class program you know this is the worst um, okay but it's not as, as bad as the, the next one so um, instead of you know writing some cool name like I always do in lectures like something de descriptive you uh, so the um, archives name was homework 5 and each problem was given as problem 1 problem 2 problem 3 and so on I have no idea what it does and I have to go and look it up and see which ho homework was that what, what was the problem there and so on so um, homework 1 dash or just you know with the with the pascal case just homework one introduction to programming right you are not gonna um you're not gonna save memory if you write a shorter name so always please always put nice names for me to l look at and of course if if you look at your homework in about a year or two from now you will know which one is which and what which thing does what um, instead, you will have to go to the slides and see what was that problem and so on. So, yeah. Okay, number six. This is an easy one. No brackets, okay? A couple of people were very, very lazy. And uh, for loops and if loops, they just wrote like that. Okay, this is not Python. Um, this is not some other language that I don't know of. But um, you have to put brackets everywhere. Even if it's a single statement, always put brackets around. The next one is a bit harder. 
but I guess some people will manage to see what the problem is. So math dot pow, some variable x, comma two. Okay. Sorry. It's not that. Okay. Imagine I said x equals or a equals math dot dot pow x two. Imagine that instead of x, um, there it's number like a proper name for a variable. Yes, so the, o the, the operation x times x is very, very, very simple and you don't have to use math.pow. Okay, the way, m does anyone know how math.pow works internally? Okay, so um, there is a method um, in mathematics which is used to approximate m values, let's say, and uh, the more you it, it, it iterates the more you apply this um, algorithm it's called newton robson method so the more you apply it the more a accurate answer you get so these are some complicated calculations that if i write math dot dot pow x comma 1.53346 like some very horrible number that you can't cal calculate by hand is still gonna do it with this method okay so there is no need for you when you have to square and write x times x you um, do not have to invoke this complicated algorithm that is that is gonna take some time of your code um, of your program um, yeah it's still gonna work it still works fast it probably has some internal optimization but not always right you, you shouldn't count on C sharp or whatever library th that you have to optimize your your code for you, and I and I've seen this many many times. So please just write x times x. If it's three times, it's fine. If it's four times, then you can use it clearly. Um, but yeah, other uh, 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 other than that, try try to keep your calculations simple, right? Okay, and then the last one, spelling. Please check your grammar. Okay. This divide I've seen all so many times in your homeworks. It's unbelievable. If, right, it's it's fine to make an error, uh, but when I'm not sure, um, I just always check. Okay, I always just go Google it and uh, see what's going on. And and there were a lot of mistakes there. So the idea is when someone from um, India or China re read reads your code because it's their their job or they want to do something with your code, just don't make it hard for them because they are going to make it hard for you as uh, I'm, I, I'm sure some of you have seen some horrible, horrible chi Chinese codes and uh, you know, it's uh, just, just don't do that. I don't think so. Okay. Right, so are we fine with this? You're not going to do that anymore ever. Promise. What is wrong with the following code? The problem is to find the maximum of two values. Okay, so in the first number equals in dot parse, second number equals in dot parse. The I uh, no, it's not that. So it's it's my bad. Sorry, indentation. No, it's not that as well. I mean, uh, I didn't want to, you know, <coughs> screenshot, but yeah. I'm not saving the maximum variable. That's not the problem here, and I don't need to be because it's not that com complicated of a question. It's not that as well, right? Can you, so this is like proper quality code, guys. Here, I've I want them to find a very uh, I would say obvious mistake, and that they just find ten more. Okay, so no, it's not that. Yes. That is fine. That is fine. Uh, this, this, you know, calculation is not that hard to read. So I would say no. Have a look at the problem. Have a look at the, the text of the problem, I would say. The problem is to find it, and th this is exactly what the program does. But 
Okay, let's just change it to, to three v v values here. Im imagine that. Do I still have my zoom it? Oh, I do. Okay, so um, control one was it? Yes. Yeah, so I imagine that that it says three here. I think you can. I'm not sure. I think you can. There is a very, very clear problem here. I would like to rephrase it, but if I do, it will be very, very obvious what I want to... Array and the loop. That's still not the problem here. The problem is that I, that I ask you to find the maximum of two values and you use a built-in function. Okay. Which kind of makes the problem stupid. Right. If I want, um, if I if I tell you sort this array using whatever you know algorithm or just without even saying that, and you can write array dot sort. What's the point of that? Right. This makes the problem irrelevant. Okay. If you use the function that you ha have to write, in this case math dot max, this makes the problem irrelevant. And I said it a couple of times, and there were still pe people like. Binary search. Okay, um, input the array. Um, you know, array dot sort, binary search, and voila, we are ready. Okay, this is not. Yes, you are correct. As a solution point, that di di this can be something different. But I wanted you to say that this makes the problem irrelevant, mm -hmm. and this is the problem here. Okay, if I want you to do something. And it says, you know, they're just um, sort the array, don't use array.sort because the, the problem is stupid. You're not going to learn a anything from ri writing this. Okay. I'm pretty confident that very rarely from, from now on you, you will see pro problems like this. Probably um, in the very last course when we do algorithms. But uh, other than that, I think it's, um, I think this can be avoided. Okay. What is wrong with the following code? And this is um, homework one to one copied. And all of the all of the ten le le lectures homeworks were written like this. So it was you know very very nice checking this person's homework. Okay, so class program first thing. Okay, second thing n. What is n? Why is this commented? What is i? What is why? Like, definitely, what is why? <laughs> okay, while I l less than n, it's fine. Here we have another comment, n2 uh, plus equals n2, and that's commented as well and left there. Int n2 convert to int 32. That's not the way I showed it, but it 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 did work, but it just looks strange. Um, y, y equals y plus n2 i plus plus. And then... Console right. And the big question is, what does this piece of code do? Can anyone tell me right now? What does it do? I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. It crashes. No, it doesn't. It actually works perfectly. No? Other suggestions. Some of the numbers, yes. All right. And one person got it after about, um, I don't know, a, a minute, let's say. So imagine every single homework written this way without any, any comment on which problem are you doing, which homework is it, and so on. So, yeah. Please, you can do it with the while, you can do it with the for. That's not the pro problem here. It's naming variables. It's how unclear this whole thing is. So please don't do, do that. Yes. When in the homework it is specified that you need a variable called n, you can call That is fine. That is fine. Okay. But I did not have here the text of the problem, so I wouldn't know, to be honest. Um, is there one more? Yes. Okay. So additional notes. Name your solutions appropriately. So homework one is bad. You can say homework one or one dot um, the name of the lecture or something like that. Please. You know, it's a torture to me. 
okay to, to check all of that okay so then name your projects and you know it's just a, a general thing normally when you write some some code it's a good habit to put the problem that you're solving on the top author and then maybe after that some comments or something else you know it's just a good practice or you know you can do some contact or you know it doesn't matter just please put the um this is probably number three yeah so please put the description of the problem inside and also name your problems um as you know something else not problem one problem two problem 25 I have no idea what that is okay so I have to constantly keep checking in my lectures and my home ho homework tasks and so on okay um, on a side note should not be using recursion on quick sort and binary search can anyone tell me why uh, yes normally but um, for those two spe specific ones um, they are going to be pr pretty much the same but that's only for C sharp so yes I accept your y your comment that recursion is normally slower okay why else yeah, memory, consuming. memory consuming because every time when you so recursion is when a method calls itself and you can get it to call itself you know um, infinite infinitely many times so each call um, of um, each call of this method generates a memory and uh, you, you can very very qu quickly get the stack overflow exception uh, which is um, uh, the name of a very very famous board that you have probably seen many 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 times the problem with stack overflow the the website is when you actually have the stack overflow exception how are you gonna check right so um, I think they should have this sorted out somehow but yeah um, so yeah, anyway so avoid rec recursion when you wh when you can the fact that it's optimized somewhere doesn't make it fast y you can very very quickly get uh, get an exception and everything is gonna blow and you wouldn't have idea what's going on okay avoid recursion please um, so quick sort can be avoided it's not that hard binary search please people it's only like 10 lines of code and people were doing recursion for binary search let aside the fact that um, everyone who did almost everyone who did quick sort and bi binary search they took it from the internet without thinking at all and i've seen at least 90 percent of the solutions were identical okay take your take your time do those problems they are there for a reason okay just copy pasting is not going to make it better okay that's why i didn't give you merge sort which is better to be done with um rec recursion um, but I thought that since we don't know know it and we haven't done anything with recursion so far, then it's probably best to give you something that is simpler so that you can do it iteratively. So um, binary search, only like three or four people I think did it with loops. Quick sort, I probably one person, but I don't know. Maybe maybe not. I'm not sure. Okay, only one person made the 2048 game. Thus, it will be given as a compulsory homework after one of the lectures made with OP. So only one mandatory. mandatory, yes, compulsory or mandatory. So only one person did it, and uh, I was very sad to see mean? that. Sorry, um, I'll see. I don't know. Um, it's it's a very bad. It was you. Well done. Well done. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, since I really wanted you to write it and uh, you didn't and you're going on with 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 the second course I don't want students who haven't written like a game that that made millions So you will have to do it as a compulsory homework. I can think of some cruel way of Evaluation maybe put it as half your homework or something like that, but just write it out It's gonna take you no more than two or three hours probably if it's more the code is available you can have a look at it you can debug you, you can test it just please it's a good good exercise 
Okay, let's move on. All right, so this is the course, and we have quite a lot of lectures this time, but as I said, this is the most Im Im important course, and I'm willing to spend further two months on it, um, just so that we get it done the proper way. So we start with this l lecture, which is number zero, module introduction. After that, um, a lecture which is um, vaguely connected to object-oriented programming, but um, I wanted to have it since we are going to use exceptions. Those are those things that they tell you what you've done wrong, say uh, index out of range, I I exception, or you know something like that. So we'll we'll go through 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 them how to give exceptions, how to handle exceptions, and so on. Okay, defining classes. Part, oh yeah, so um, this lecture is short. Okay, I have a small comment after each lecture to to tell you what's um, what's going on there. So, defining classes part part one. Um, we've already done a couple of things with structs. Classes are not that different. I'm sure that that you will learn something new from here. Um, but um, it's not going to be too com complicated. Okay. Defining classes part two is a bit harder than we will t talk about um, inheritance, abstraction, virtual methods, overwriting methods, and so on. Then we have extension methods, delegates, lambda, dynamic, and link. And my experience with this one was that it was the best lecture that I've um, heard and it's very very useful and it's very cool to write and it's one of the things that makes um, C sharp I believe better than uh, the other popular languages especially that lambdas they're really really cool and uh, I was actually researching today whether the, there is lambda in uh, C++ and it turns out that it that it does it does ha have it but it looks terrible okay it looks absolutely horrible I don't know if you've seen it or if you've made the comparison but you know um, C sharp looks better it's a lot better to read a lot easier to read and so on it's in general really really cool okay then we have um, OP principles part part one important um, how to write classes um, there are some principles that you have to keep in order to you know have a proper architecture and so, so on so these are two lectures that I hope will be interesting so not much of a code will be written here but uh, more like general ideas and uh, suggestions on how, how you should think about the object orientation of your app or game or site it doesn't matter okay common, uh, common type system in .NET so this is a short lecture um, I think I've mentioned it a little bit. It's uh, about the structure of types like list, iList, um, interfaces in dot, .NET, data types, and so on. Um, it's in the interesting, and in it illustrates everything that we would have done, um, that we will have done before that. So um, it's done very, very ne neatly, and we'll, we'll see um, what kind of an architecture it follows and how are we gonna um, follow these gu guidelines from Microsoft then we have quality codes um, so those lectures are not gonna be that interesting but they're very important independently of um, where you work so proper naming I have a special lecture for proper naming of you know classes interfaces variables um, methods and so on um, then we have proper OP. Um, again, this will be kind of similar to the principles, but you will you will hear something new. Um, where to put the fields, where to put um, properties, where to put methods, overriding classes, constructors, and so on. So yeah, um, principles and design patterns. So this is an important le lecture and. Um, it's a bit more advanced um, for this course, but it's good to have a general idea. So the, um, my idea for, for, for this lecture is to you know briefly go through some design patterns um, be because we're, we're going to use some of them in our, in our game. Okay? You don't need to know all of them. I p personally don't know of anyone who knows all of them and, and can implement them and so on. It's not good to have an idea 
what what that is you know just have a couple of them in your head and if you need it you can always look up online how it's done um yeah so after that we have monogame xna this is a fr framework by microsoft the xna but they uh, abandoned it i think in 2011 or 2012 and then um, it became um, an open source project um, and it's called now monogame um, it's a nice fra framework it's not that widely used but um, it's relatively simple to write code it's with pure c sharp so um, we'll have um, we'll have uh, a good e good e the example with that um, with everything that we've learned in this course okay so this is why this is you know very very brief overview of what it is how can you publish games with it and uh, so on nothing nothing special okay so the game that we'll be implementing this course at the end of the course is monopoly um it's not going to be a full version we are not going to have um deals between players we're not going to gonna have houses and um hotels but other than that um it's going to be a pretty nice good looking game um, we will have pawns, they will move, you can buy stuff, you can land on chance, land in jail and so on. It will be, you know, playable and looks nice. Um, definitely. Okay. And uh, I think this is, so first we have the planning and uh, architecture l l lecture, um, which is going to be relatively short. I'll just explain you um, how are we going to structure our code, our object orientation. Uh, because it's not that easy. So um, I looked a couple of days ago. I was researching that as well, and it turns out that it's a, I wouldn't say popular interview question, but you can get this this question at an interview. How would you design um, in terms of OP? How would you design um, a Monopoly game or a similar game? And it's good, you know, to have a couple of ideas. So my my idea for this game is to write it as as best as I can, okay. Using um, so I would write it as if it was you know some AAA game, meaning that we will use proper design patterns and so on. It's very very easy to you know just put it in like a couple of classes, you know, just put everything in one um, file and so on. That's very very easy. But learning how to do it properly so that if you apply the same framework or the same model on a bigger project, that it's gonna work there there as well. Um, so this is the idea, not not the game that is mon Monopoly or, you know, why this specific game. It's more like OP and how to write games properly, you know, with design patterns and um, inheritance interfaces and so on. I assume that this is going to take about two or three lectures, but if it takes longer, we can take some time from the workshops as well. Okay. Are there any questions so far? I've said a lot of things. Any, you know suggestions or why is it so so long or something like that no okay so yeah again this is probably the most important i'm sure that everyone here will learn something new from this course um so yeah um i'm really looking forward to it okay workshops so escape floor game exam solution will be done next week not this week but next week on the workshop um, I'll give you my thoughts on it how would I solve it and um, we're not gonna use any object-oriented programming because we uh, you 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 didn't know it when you were doing your your exam so I'll just use the knowledge that you had Okay, so then Spacecraft Wars, this was the second group. This will be the week after on the workshop. Um, it's going to take some hours, probably, but uh, if I'm willing to come here and work on Saturday, then so should you be to come here and, you know, learn or just, you know, watch the lecture online. It's, um, it's up to you. Workshops are not compulsory, but I'm sure that you can learn some, something from there. Okay, some of the shorter le lectures will also be done in the workshops. And... Uh, I am looking at this one and probably these two. Okay, if you see these are 13 le lectures, those are, you know, at, at least five weeks, at least five weeks. And I don't want to, you know, e 
extend the course too much so and I also don't want to take two lectures in one day because there would be no good good way to combine them they are either ve very short or very long so um, I believe this is better and they are not that important as well I mean even if you look look at them at home um, it will it will still still be fine um, so yeah we will use the workshops for some lectures probably two or three um, okay and then of course questions from students you can always come and chat and ask questions we can play some games on the controller and um, just whatever you want to do I'm fine Evaluation. So this course will be evaluated as follows: 25% homework, 25% test, and 50% teamwork project. Okay. I would like to probably decrease that. Yeah, I'll do that. Bear in mind that this is subject to 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 change, but I would like to do it as follows. Okay, with the following um, condition as well: that um, you have to have some so the test will be like um, ABC questions maybe you have to write some code b by hand maybe you know very very small piece of code um, just answer questions open quick questions and so on because this course is more theoretical okay so so this will be about more now theoretical questions um, how would you do that what's an abstract class um, stuff like that it's not nothing to be afraid of but um, I would like to say that independently of how much you got on your teamwork project, I would require some percentage like 40 on all on the test for you to pass to the next course. Um, there are many, many different reasons for that. We've um, discussed some, some of them, but the teamwork project is going to be the most important thing in this course. And I would like you to put a lot of effort into it. Okay, and also um, also the test, um, we have to see individually how everyone works, right? That's always um, a part of it as well. To successfully complete the course, you must not skip lectures. You must present your homework on time. You must participate in teamwork projects, and the must is with three exclamation marks be because we had at least seven or eight people from the last course which are no longer here that um, decided to skip this and not help their their teammates i really believe that teamworks um, are the best way of learning how to you know probably work like a like a real work environment um, so this is you know very very useful not just you know in terms of learning how to call them right games but also to to, to cope with your um, teamwork mates as well okay timeline so I roughly say about month and a half two months two times a week from 6 30 to 10 um, we can go we we normally go less than that but um, we can go more if um, I have to finish something on a game or something l like that so you would know um also yeah we said monday and thursday everyone remember that so um, our next l l lecture will be on th thursday um we have optional workshop which is going to be on saturday from 11 to 1. um if i decide that i need more more sleep i would change that to to, to 12. but so far i am coping and i'm fine so we'll see how that goes Okay, there will be one or two weeks without lectures after uh, we have covered the whole material. Those should be used to make your teamwork project. Okay, this is something that I say it's the most important thing. And we will, we will finish the course with the mono game framework. So I have to give you time after that, you know, to finish your game. But you can work on your game from uh, from this weekend because you have the, the the teams and you can start thinking about your your game and start doing the work as the course progresses um, okay so here's a bit more information about the teamwork project so okay you have to create a simple game or not that simple game with uh, the mono game engine evaluation of the team projects will emphasize on the, the quality of the code architecture and design 
pattern. So this will be roughly 40% of your um, teamwork um, mark. Okay, the other 60 will be for the game idea, graphics, gameplay, execution, playability, fun element, and so on, so everything else. Okay, if, if you've written the most amazing game ever, and you could probably make millions if you publish it, um, if your code sucks, you will get only 60%. And that's a given. Okay, so start early. You can start planning and di discussing the game as early as le lecture two, when when the teams will be announced. So on, on, on Thursday, I'll make my best to announce the teams. Um, you can make your OOP structure after um, after lecture three or six, depending on how good you are. Um, the last one two weeks should be left for the graphics, you know, sound for the mono game specific stuff. Okay, for the design patterns um, that we'll be using in. Monopoly as well and so on. So don't leave everything for the end because I probably will be able to to tell whether you've put a lot of effort into it or just you know copied some tutorial on online or something like that. So yeah, start early and please bear in mind that this is the most important part of your course. So six sixty percent. Okay, after the how, how to study, you've seen the, this slide already. Homeworks are more important. Le lectures, please listen. Um, I've seen some people with laptops that um, sometimes are play, playing games and they don't pay attention. Um, yeah, just um, try to you know keep up, ask questions. I'm sure that if you think har hard enough, if you know everything um, that I'm saying, you will, you will probably think hard enough to ask me a question question that um, I can answer and it's gonna expand your no knowledge so ask questions watch the videos online if you need especially for the monopoly game I'm sure that some of you will need to revisit the um, the way of implementation of the game so um, yeah if you need to you, you can just always go back and watch those participate in teamwork and use Google Google, probably the last one again is the most important thing. Okay, champions from the first course and best homework. Who thinks got the best homework award? No. no. Petko, um, he did not do the um, 2048 game. But um, his homework was really great. I enjoyed it um, a lot. It was very, very clear. He really did put, put some extra effort to make it, you know, nice. Um, so let me show it now. Actually, um, so Petco. Sorry? Spoiler for what? For the words. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, no easy way to um, go go around that. So courses, student center. Which which group is yours? First or second? Uh, which number are you here? Do you know? Eleven. Okay. So homework, and there it is. Let me um, let me actually make a folder. Call it champions. And uh, in here, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably just copy that. I don't want to make another folder. So I didn't want to move. Sorry. Um, let let him copy. Skip. Okay. Let's um, let's just see loops. Let's just choose that that one. So you know, it's not even about the the code that much whether it's um, correct or not he didn't have the the maximum score but just um, the way it's structured with the comments and with the variables and so so on it was really a pleasant experience to check his homework and this this why he's got the maximum score out of everyone um, so yeah here n naming lecture number six lo loops um, let's go here and divided by k or maybe not that one maybe go with 
Fibonacci or something. Okay, so here we have the text, um, we have sum, we have the first element, the, the second element, the current one. And now it's just very, very easy to read. And, and that starts from, you know, his first and uh, throughout his last um, homework. It's really, really nice to read. Um, if you want to have some, someone to learn from, just ask him um, for his homework and uh, I'm sure that he'll be nice enough to give it to you if, uh, if you're not sure how, how to write things. So color, value, counter, and uh, you know, just everything is really, really good to, to, to read. Um, I would like to see this one because it's a little bit harder. So counter, roll, cycle, last number, and n times n, not uh, math dot pow. You know, just uh, in in general, very very nice homework. And uh, let me, let me, let me run that one. Can you imagine it not working now after so many nice words for the whole homework? Let's have a look. Let me put five, and uh, you know, with the with the spacings and everything, it was uh, like really really nice. Okay, and um, right, so I guess that's it. Uh, you missed one, um, one archive. I missed one you archive. Didn't, uh, you didn't copy it into the first one. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And I and I and I did say skip. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> oh yeah, I I got this error as well. I'll uh, I'll give it back somehow i'll really try to uh, i'm sorry for that but i'll i'll try okay so let's get back i'm sure you've all seen them but anyways let's uh keep up the the, the tension so um congratulations this is the only p person that did the 2048 game so um yeah just applause for both of them and uh your homework was not that good, I would say, you know, with the other stuff, but you were the only one that did the game, so yeah. And uh, since all of the rest didn't, you have that as a homework, um, except for Bogomil. Um, in English, it's, you know, hard. Okay, so yeah. Best teamwork. So we have Pac-Man with 34 out of 25. So lots of bonus points there. Um, Space game, I think it was called Team 2. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, and the Adventures of Ed. Um, maybe I'm not mistaken about that one. Uh, was it the one with, was it, was it yours? Yeah, so yeah, it's that one. Okay, so let's have a look at those games. Um, the reason why the first place is first is not only because it's... Um, it's well done and, and so on, but it's a finished game. So the first two are fini finished games. There were some other ideas that were, you know, harder and more interesting and so on. But um, these two are finished, you know, and can be played and are really, really nice. The, the last one, um, it had some bu bugs, but it was, um, I think, the most complicated idea out of all. And um, definitely had some algorithms there, and I think it deserved the third place. So let's have a look at those. So Pac-Man and Friends. Exams, no, it was here. So let me show first the uh, the, the winner. Pac-Man. Pac <coughs> All right. I did not get that. I'm sorry that I can zoom, but um, I have to play with two people. What are the keys? Because I couldn't run it last time. So double ASD and the arrows, or what was it something else? Plus numpad zero. Okay, let me let me try. So you have your two um, characters. One is in green. The I I can't. Oh yeah, okay. One is in green. The the, the other is in yellow, and um, you have some some time to get b b bullets. After that, you can shoot the enemies, and uh, I died. Uh, but let me play that again. Is there a re replay? Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, just gather some bullets, and uh, after that, when everything starts, you can shoot at your 
uh, enemies and it's actually um, one versus the other so I I try not to not to die but I lose every time and there is also a co-op mode how, how do I exit with escape or you, you haven't made that okay you don't think that was implemented bad 31 po points now okay so we have the survival mode as well um, which is in be beta but I but I think it sort of worked uh, yeah, sort of the okay um, then leaderboards and uh, stuff like that it's really really cool some mal mal algorithms there um, you know ma menus and so on. what just happened <laughs> but it but it still works now I liked it because it's a finished game and it has the complicated elements it has maps and um, some some AI which actually works nice and uh, yeah so these are the winners very very close behind is the team V game which is a space game um, so yeah this is your aircraft and you have to you know kill um, your enemies so they are a bit faster so this this right there I had to take but I couldn't so I lost some health there uh, yeah the speed was increased in the demo so this gives me a weapon which is something that I wanted to show and uh, there is a um, I can take another one if it appears. Yeah, th 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 there it is. So I take that. Or did I? Oh, yeah, I did. So, yeah, it's fine. Now I shoot with three. And there was also invulnerability. And what is that here? Invulnerability, I think that was, or no. Okay, yeah. And uh, it works really, really nice. Um, it's not the most complicated of ideas but um it was finished and uh you know that was um that was one of the reasons why they they got uh, some of the highest marks uh, from all of the teamwork projects okay so yeah well done and the game which is uh um yeah i want to say that the other uh, space game was also really 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 nice and it was finished as well but um, there were some problems there. I don't remember what that was, but they got a slightly lower score. So that's why they're not I in the top three, but it was really, really well done as well. It was um, similar to that one, but side scrolling instead of, you know, vertical. And um, the last one was the adventures of, I don't see it. 16, 16, okay, the first one. Um, I really liked the idea and it was complicated and uh, since I'm a fan of uh, the Binding of Isaac, they kind of got, got me there. So it's a similar thing, but if, of course it's limited to, to the console. I would love to see this game if if possible um, with the monogame engine or, you know, just some variation of it or just something that is close to this and in terms of, um, you know, difficulty and so on. So. We are right here, I think, with the um, um, with the ad here, with the ye yellow ad. So um, we enter rooms which are ra randomly generated, right? Yes. And uh, the number of rooms where they are uh, situated and so on, it's all random. And they also, so I, I remember one of the problems that you said was um, how to fill them all in in the, in the console so that they don't, you know, overlap or you know go outside of the console and so on so um, that was a problem that I imagine not being easy to to solve as well um, we have the um, we have some giants here and this is gold as I remember and once you enter the room so um, it's a uh, turn based so every time when I move um, the other characters move as well so this is a corridor and as soon as I enter the room um, there, there, there is a giant with a health and is going to go after me with some algorithm um, to follow and uh, yeah so I get the, the gold but I also have to find the guy in order to you know exit the room and I did very very quickly so I have my 
HP, I have attack, I have you know, floor kills, level and so on. Okay, so there are a couple of bugs and this is why this is not num number one. So these X's here that appear or I should should not be going from there at all. Um, I, something happened. Okay, yeah, there we go. So I can kill again. I can level up and uh, so on. So let me just go through the exit if these guys leave me alone. Um, this guy probably wouldn't. Let me try. Yeah, he didn't. Um, and so this V is the exit and I can go here and I can go on to the next floor. Okay, if you've played Zelda, at least the older um, versions, it's uh, something similar to that. And I really liked it because, you know, it's a bit more complicated than what the, the other teams had to offer. Um, it's well done and um, yeah, it's a really nice game. I would, um, yeah, all of the three are really, really good. But in terms of how com complicated this thing was to implement, um, yeah, this is why this is in the in the top three, despite it not being, you know, completely finished, I think. So yeah, well done there too. Okay, um, did I miss something? Oh yeah, there is more. And we're up to the best exams. So, group group one, the only person with a completely finished game with all the bonuses and so on, this is Ferrach. And um, not only that, but he finished the game in four hours. So he added, you know, menus and so on. We will uh, see the game in a bit. Uh, but you know, it. I was um, very impressed by by his game. It was well balanced. He added new things and so on. So the first group was with uh, the game called Escape Floor, which you will see in a second. In the second group, no one made the perfect game. Um, there were some close up attempts, but there there was always something missing, or um, some bugs and so on. Um, so yeah, we have two winners, which I believe were the closest to victory. Know, getting a getting a, a maximum score you know they were very very close and uh, let's have a look at their solutions and what happened to their game so um, somewhere on the desktop I have exams and uh, escape floor Ferrach and uh, bin debug you did not release it right I should be playing it from from here so this is it. You have some menu here. So the um, the ad gives you hard time by increasing the speed. Uh, some other power up which um, slows down, removes the next six floors, and and he added two two new ones. Okay, so the exclamation mark is um, you know just bon bonus points, but I really like the other one which is by by pressing spacebar you will you will go through one floor so this is like a, a proper power up so let's start um, so this is our guy it looks really nice it's very very playable um, I don't know why the difficulty is hard but I'm sure that this used to work when I when I compiled it at least he, he, he was probably testing something and left it th this way so um, let me just get one of the one of the power-ups that gave me to go through floors. So the rest are just you know slowing down and speed sp speeding up. So that nothing that special. Uh, but you know it's it it's actually quite playable. The the game and um, where is that thing? So this gives me points, but I don't want points. I want to show the special power-up. What have you done with it? It's not that one. This makes it harder, I think. And I'm gonna die, and I'm never gonna see it. But um, it works. It works. Uh, so once I once I press space, you know, I just go through one floor. So really nice. I was um, quite impressed. So yeah, well done, and he did it in, did in, in only four hours. So if you wanna, if you want him to tell you, you know, his secret or you know what does he drink, or you know, um, just um, you know, ask him. 
Okay, group two. Um, not that of a, not that much of a finished game, but um, still very very close. I'll show the first place first, which is Stefan or Steven, depends on how he wants. So yeah, play or was it with enter? Okay, so this is the spacecraft. I really like the UI on top. It's really nice. Um, the way you can see the the bullets and also the um, um, the obstacles um, I can shoot okay and it sort of works so the idea was to you know clear um, the whole obstacle and uh, th there are some bugs and it's not that well balanced I mean it's very very slow and how would I go through here you know it's it's a bit hard and sometimes um, it doesn't end the game when I hit um, one of the um, obstacles I did this time I'm um, sorry, it didn't this time, but when I hit one of the white ones, I think. <laughs> no. No, it works, it works. I definitely could could die in this game. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I definitely could. So, yeah. Yeah, it has bugs, but it's, you know, as close as it gets to, you know, the best ho homework there. And, uh, uh, yeah, we died. There, there we go. Um, there, there weren't the um, so the power ups weren't implemented. I don't think they were that complicated to implement once you have this. Probably um, didn't have enough time. I really wonder what's gonna happen if I press. Okay, so exit. Fine and uh, okay. So yeah, really, really good, good game. Yeah, as good as it gets on this exam. And uh, so second place is to the only girl in our in our group. She did really really well. And um, I don't know if she managed to fix that bug. I was looking at that her trying to fix it, uh, trying to fix it for about was about two or two or three hours or something like that. I hope um, she managed to do that in the end. So the game doesn't start for a bit, which is weird. Um, but yeah, the whole obstacle disappears and then we are waiting for the next one. Um, I can take my bullets. Okay. And uh, now I can destroy that as well. So yeah, it's, um, it's really good. There are minus points for the obstacles, which had to be two types. Uh, but other than that, it's really good. I don't think it's that well balanced because, you know, there is a lot of time apart the of ob ob obstacles and I can you know e easily go from one to the other um, if I'm a bit more concentrated I guess and especially with the bullets they had to be I didn't have enough space to go through so that's still a, that's still a ba balancing issue but um, so um, the two types of obstacles had to be done there wasn't the golden bullet or I, at, at least I didn't see it and um, there is a bug, actually, which is you know very hard to find. So as a as a proper tester, I th I think I managed to find it. Let's see if it's gonna work. So if the bullet hits the end, I actually have to press space a couple of times maybe. So let me press it three times. So if the bullet hits the end, I got at at least on my PC I got uh, an exception. So yeah, yeah. This one was um, hard, hard to find. It was by accident. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. So yeah, really well done. Okay. Um, I guess that's pretty much about it. Congratulations to everyone. One thing that I did not mention is that upon completing each course from now on, you will get a certificate in the end um, which is going to say which courses you have completed and also if you have one of these like best homework best teamwork best 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 exam um, you will um, you will have this on your certificate as well so yeah um, keep in mind that um, I would really like to say that um, certificates in IT are not at all important be important i mean it just matters what you have learned and how 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 you can code and so on um you know just the piece of paper on its own is is not important but i'm sure that um, the people that i've mentioned they've learned something from the course and they've shown it 
um, in a really nice way um, in the teamwork and the exams and the homework as well um, so yeah references and questions no questions nobody has a question either I'm too good at explaining everything or too boring so it's one of the two okay right we at least know one person that thinks I'm boring so yeah okay that was it thanks for listening and I'll see you on Thursday <laughs>